you're watching this, it means both of us survived 2017. Woo! Insert snazzy intro here, because I'm not talented enough to create one. Yeah! Hello, every people. So, the year is almost over, and I want to talk about how it went. And basically, when I was thinking about this, and I was thinking about what to talk about, I kind of noticed there was a theme of this year. Because this year was a very hard year for me. It had some great moments, but it had some really hard moments and I'm just I'm glad I made to the end of it because that's just the best I could do really and I still did some pretty awesome things this year but I want to talk about basically what the theme of this year kind of was for me and it was control and a lack of control and really just feeling powerless especially near the end of the year and also a lot through the year so first off awesome thing that happened this year was i got my wisdom teeth removed which doesn't sound that bad but i had a really bad reaction to the meds like the surgery went fine but the meds actually really hurt me and i had to stay home like because i was like in pain and, and just I don't really want to go into detail because it, it was gross. <laughs> Just not a good time. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. I actually stopped taking them early so I could actually feel better and go to school. <laughs> and then... Oh goodness, I don't want to have to edit this too much. I'm trying to... I have a list so I stay on track and that this video is natural, not overcut, and not a million minutes long. And then mental health wise, I got diagnosed with ADHD as I talked about. And I was like, wow, turns out, you know, I wasn't just not trying hard enough my whole life. I'm actually neurodivergent. And then we had like the little slip up of the meds where, you know, I became really unstable because it turns out I've got too much dopamine and not, not enough dopamine. So we're adding fire to the fire for a few very not fun weeks. And then just, world events honestly have made me feel like I have no control because I don't I am a teenager in Canada I cannot control all of the things that are happening in the world but I and that makes me feel extremely helpless <laughs> and then also okay I'm reaching the end of my list this is a long list as you can tell my transition I felt like I'm not in control because we are trying, we, my parents and I, we're trying to get me on testosterone, but, um, and I've been referred to some place right now, but they actually haven't gone back to us, and they should have, like, a very long time ago, and I've been referred, like, multiple times, and we just kind of have to wait to hear from them because my referral's gone through, so it's just a waiting game, which... I don't enjoy, but I, up. Uh, hello father, I'm waving off camera, but <laughs> I, I, nothing I can do, and then also, I take a college class, and the Ontario colleges went on strike, so, that wasn't fun, but I know it wasn't as bad for me as it was, like, the full-time college students who, like, pay for college, and are taking multiple classes, because they're getting a degree or a diploma, that was, like, ah. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, and also speaking of my college class, after I've listed all the things that I felt like I can't control this year, uh, I'm actually going to talk about something I learned in my class, because I'm taking a leadership class, and there's a thing called the locus of control, which basically you can have an inner one or an outer one, and an inner one is, is that it's like, okay, I am in control of my life. I can control what happens, I can change things. And outer is like, nothing is in my control, everything is the world's fault, and I can't do anything, is a simplified explanation. And I've kind of noticed that I really had an outer locus of control this year for a lot of things. And that, and I want to, in 2018, try to have an inner locus of control, because you know, feeling in control of your life really helps your happiness and mental health. I've, you know, study show and, and you know, in other news, water is wet. So I'm going to try in 2018 to have more control over my life and feel like I have control over my life. And I'm actually gonna talk about that in the next video I'm gonna film that'll probably be up in, 
I don't even know, in this month of January, which is about my goals for 2018. But I hope you've enjoyed these ramblings about control and basically just a lot about my year and also some interesting theory on locuses. And let me know how your 2017 went. Did you also feel like you didn't have control this year? Is that a common theme for this year for a lot of people? Or is it just a sad thing? I feel like it sadly was a common thing. And until next time, I don't know how to do an outro, so peace. Snazzy outro music. Snazzy outro music. Snazzy outro music. Please subscribe.